The biggest weekend of the NFL season, four teams playing with a trip to the Super Bowl at stake. So this morning, we've got the tail of the tape on their quarterbacks, including the all-important stuff, from endorsements to salaries to significant others. ABC's Paula Ferris is here with all of it. Good morning to you, Paula. Good morning, Lara. So how do these guys stack up against each other on the field and on paper? Well, one has a supermodel wife. Another is one of the lowest-paid quarterbacks in the league. But come this Sunday, only one stat matters. And and that's winning. This weekend, these four quarterbacks take center stage as they try to lead their teams to the Super Bowl. Brady is now the all-time leader. The only thing standing in three-time Super Bowl winner Tom Brady's way? Luck. Andrew Luck. The Indianapolis Colts young gunslinger was just 11 years old when Brady was hoisting his first Super Bowl trophy. Great role model for any, said this before, for any quarterback at any level. Brady has a supermodel wife and rakes in seven million a year, not including endorsement deals like Uggs. He's even got acting chops. Boom shakalaka. Luck, however, prefers his privacy, traveling to Europe in the offseason so he won't be recognized, shying away from endorsement deals, and right now, a razor. The beard is staying. I sit there and I think of the young versus old. That's the battle I really am excited to watch this weekend. In the other matchup, it's the Packers versus the Seahawks. Both Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson have won a Super Bowl, but only one. Rogers has Hollywood starlet Olivia Munn on their arm. That was a heck of a drive right there by number 12. Rogers also hauls in roughly 18 million a year, about 18 times more than Russell. It's a huge discrepancy in the salaries of these players. I've got this. And while Wilson has won small endorsement deals with Alaskan Airlines and Microsoft, Rogers is a pitchman for Nike and State Farm. Doesn't this hurt? Not with those puny arms. Four stud athletes, one goal to get to the Super Bowl. So the two teams and quarterbacks left standing after Sunday's games will then battle at the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is always the first Sunday in February, and then whoever wins that, of course, is you know going to Disney World. And that opens up a lot of opportunities. <laughs>